Hi, my name is Josh. I'm your English learning guide, and this is English Hacks. Welcome back to the pronunciation course. Today we are talking about the third vowel sound, e. This vowel sound is found in many languages, as far as I know. Uh, or there's something very similar to this sound, that it's actually a slightly different symbol, but it's close enough. So we see, we talked about e, which was very closed. We talked about e, which was a little more open. And now we're at the sound e. Now in English, we tend to write this eh uh, if we're trying to spell the sound directly, phonetically, um, silent h. Um, the IPA symbol is this sort of backwards three looking thing, almost like an E, but curly. Curl means sort of like that. That's a curl. Curl. Okay. We can see that this sound, these two sounds are in the top of the mouth. So your mouth is going to be very closed. So this would be like this here, right at the bottom of your mouth, E. E, e, e. But here what we're doing instead is the bottom of the mouth is going to be more like right here. This is the top of the mouth. Okay. So we can see we're more open and we're actually from this way, we're using the middle, but the middle height. So your mouth isn't going to be closed like E, E, and it's not going to be really open like ah, ah, ah. It's not like that. It's too open. We want it to be more in the middle. Okay. E, E, A, E, 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 E. So you should be able to see the mouth um, open a little bit, but not too much. Now, this is a very important point because this next sound, which is A, ah, like the sound in cat, it seems in my experience, many languages don't have that sound. They'll have a sound around here, which is more like ah, ah, which English does not have. In fact, English has a vowel here and we have a vowel back here, but we do not have this vowel sound here. When you try to make the sound, if you don't have a sound here, this one in the front, a common mistake that English learners make is they open their mouth too far and then it's either it sounds like ah, or more commonly, it's not clear if they're pronouncing eh or ah. Okay. And you might not quite be able to hear the difference between those two yet. That's another common problem. That's okay. But this is a very, very, very important pair because for example, we have man and men. This is the third sound right here. This is the fourth sound right here. There are many, many, many pairs that have this one little difference, eh or ah. And so if you open your mouth too much and you're sort of in between in here, an English speaker isn't going to be able to understand you. Maybe with the context, right? If you see, if you say, well here, if you say, um, I see two man. Okay. We understand you mean men. So the context can help, but it can cause a lot of problems being understood clearly. So very, very important. But right now we're just going to focus on this third sound, which should be pretty easy if you either have this sound or you have um, another sound that is very, very similar. So your tongue is kind of flat. Um, this is the bottom of your mouth this is the teeth. I right hear this is the bottom right here. In some languages, the tongue will kind of sit down and sort of like if there's teeth here, it'll be sort of inside the, the teeth on the side. In English, it's kind of like the sides of the tongue actually kind of sit up on the side teeth. Uh -huh. um, and the tip might kind of relax down below this top line or it could sit on top. It doesn't matter. Um, but it's kind of flat. It's just sort of, you just open your mouth halfway, halfway down, and then you just, it just kind of sits there. Um, eh, 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 eh. Um, 
And don't make sure your tongue isn't sort of like sticking up or anything because then you'll get like a eh, a eh, a eh. We don't want that just kind of nice and relaxed eh, eh, eh. So if we look at some example words uh, We have as I said men Okay, men meh eh, eh. Um, We have Ken which is a name Ken set Set, se, se. Again, be careful with these consonants that are up at the top here. Se. It's really easy to go too far. Okay. Um, again, the fourth sound, sat. That's fourth sound. Set, sat. Very easy to go too far, so be careful. Se, se. By the way, this word, said. The only difference between this word and this word is T or D. This is actually the same sound. I know it's spelled AI, but that's English. That's an exception, common exception in terms of spelling. We'll come to the spelling pattern in a second. Let. Le, le, let. Okay. You may have heard something like this. Let me. Lemmy, which is sort of a, a very fast, quick, unclear way, well, not enunciated way to say, let me, like, let me see, right? I want to see, let me see, let me see. Well, well, when, and we'll say, I want to give you a, a wide variety of combination of sounds here, but peck is what a bird does, right? Bird, peck, peck. So those are some example words, some of which you will see again in the homework. Common spelling pattern. The good news here is this is the most common spelling pattern. So we saw that in pretty much all those words, but as we saw, right, the word said, Normally AI would be like I, right? Like the word I. Uh, but in this case, it actually is an eh sound. Why it's spelled AI? It's English. It's English. Uh, your homework for today. Homework. HW, homework. Your homework for today um, will be to listen to the eh Sorry, that's actually how I write my E's n naturally. Um, I don't want to confuse you with that symbol there, so I'll, at least this time I'll write it like a normal E. <laughs> so the E recording, which will start, I believe it starts with men, Ken, etc. Um, again, that's going to be in the vowel folder. If you follow the link in the description below, you'll see basic uh, sounds. And then inside that is a folder called vowels and you will find this recording. That's number one. Number two, we're gonna do listening dictation. Number two, questions, comments, go ahead and leave them down below. Hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell so you never miss another English Hacks video, and I'll see you guys next time.